It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. If you haven't figured it out, yes, we are inspired by Elvis this morning ahead of the big cinematic release of Elvis Baz Luhrmann's rendition of releases in South African cinemas today. But we've got someone special in studio this morning. Gordon Rocker is a vocalist, a rhythm guitarist, a songwriter, and a very passionate Elvis Presley fan. Now, you could say he thrives on the Elvis beat, so much so that he recently performed at the red carpet premiere of the new Elvis movie, of course, releasing later today at Stair Kinnickle at the BNA Waterfront in Cape Town. Please, can we give this man a very warm welcome? In fact, we need to be a stadium full of people right now. It's Gordon Rocker! Thank you, thank you. Come on! You must, oh, you you. must be used to the adoring fans. Thank you so much. You everybody. must be used to it, man. Thank you so much for joining us. I mean, I'm sorry that we've had to put you through all of our terrible Elvis impersonations, but for a man who lives the brand, who lives the persona, and I get it, my, my beautiful wife now is a, an absolute Elvis fanatic. She's been dancing to him for years. How excited were you when you found out the movie was coming out? It was like, your time has come. You know, you know Elvis seems to keep coming back, you know, over the years. And uh, it's just amazing how, um, you know, people from various backgrounds, various age groups, um, it, it just keeps coming back. And when I performed at the premiere, it was just amazing to see uh, people of six, seven years old, Elvis fans, you know, after all this time, it's actually, it's incredible. Yeah, man, I think there is, there's a reason for that because, I mean, you can say what you want about the, the history of the time, but he was performing music created by some of the best musicians of the era and he had that X factor. There was undoubtedly something about him that just drew people in. What was it about this man or is it about his legend and his aura that drew you in? When did you become an Elvis fan and when did this happen? You know, when, when I was in school, um, I think I was about seven years old, and we each had a chance to sing a song in, <laughs> on stage. And um, as, as, a, as a kind of like a joke, I did an Elvis song, and people really liked it. And, uh, you know, my aunt gave me an Elvis double LP when I was about seven years old, and I listened to this album. And I, I'd already been singing. I sang on stage the first time when I was about five years old. Oh, wow. But uh, when she gave me the LP and I listened to this, I just... Like, what is this guy doing? It's, it's just incredible. I think for me, he was a disruptor. When you look at what was happening and, the, and the, the kind of status quo at the time, he was just rocking the boat. And I absolutely love that about him. Red carpet performance right now, I'm sure that must be one of the highlights of your Elvis impersonating journey. What have some of the other highlights been? What have been some of the best moments for you dressed like this? <laughs> you know, um, about 10 years ago, a uh, number of 1950s style diners opened up in Cape Town and um, I started performing. I got quite a lot of work with that and I, I was just there. Uh, there was a place called Frankie's Diner in Seapoint and I was yeah, there sure. all the time performing there and uh, you know, various other diners and um, it was just incredible. And also there I was so surprised that everybody, people, so many different people, types of Elvis fans from all over the world different age groups and that, and uh, yeah, just incredible. And I perform as well at places like retirement villages, and the people go back oh, to their... Love it. They, by the time I leave, they are 13 years old, 14 years <laughs> old, and the place is rocking. In a word, what typifies, because you have to get it right when you perform, Musically, I know that that requires a set skill kind of level, but the, the, the essence of the man, what is that for you? Can you sum that up? Yeah, there's a certain um, positive energy that that you've that you've uh, that you've got to bring across. Yeah. Oh, you brought the positive energy, and you've come to probably the most positive studio on the planet, my friend. This is your feel-good breakfast show for a reason. You are not going anywhere. He's going to be shaking them hips and um, showcasing some of that beautiful vocal talent as well. If you're an Elvis fan, stick around. If you're not an Elvis fan, you're about to get an education. <laughs> 